Hi YouTube, it's Tori here coming to you guys with another Notorious video. This video is actually going to be my very first hair review. Um, the hair that I have is from HerGivingHair.com. It was sent to me by the company. Um, and I just want to say before I start, I'm not getting paid to do this. My review is going to be completely honest because ain't nobody got time to be wasting their money on hair. I totally understand. And plus, I want you guys to be able to trust me. So, stay tuned if you want to know the details on this hair. And hopefully, I answer all the questions that you have been wondering about. No, 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 notorious. and a lace closure um i said i had because i cut this hair okay so i did lot, start lot. by um in the book it tells you to use shea moisture i believe shea moisture products and i did start off using that stuff because I, I had some lying around not because i went out and bought it but i was like you know if this is supposed to react like my natural hair i'm gonna use whatever I want to use it's the same thing I'll use use on my natural hair so um that worked out fine didn't it didn't hurt the hair nothing bad happened so you don't have to use what it tells you to use I guess that's just what they prefer if you want your hair to last longer um unboxing so when I pulled this hair out of the box I should have did an unboxing video but I didn't so whatever when I pulled it out of the box, I just, I didn't understand. I was like, what the hell is this? Okay, just imagine, like, getting this. Like, just it just looked a little bit different than this. It looked like some damn ramen noodles. I was like, what the hell? Like, am I being punk right now? What's going on? I'm not putting this in my head. I was just like, no. So... My sister goes, well, maybe after you wash it and all that stuff, it will look better. So I'm like, okay, let me wash it. No. No. <laughs> I'm gonna put a video um, somewhere in here. still wasn't pleased it was just like okay it looks a little better but it still doesn't look like natural hair it doesn't look like my hair it still looked like some noodles after that i detangled it with um a brush it's not um technically a dimming brush but it's basically a dimming brush i detangled it with that fell in love with the result and i'm gonna insert a picture here so you guys can see what it looked like after i actually brushed it out and you're gonna see that it was a major 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 difference like it actually started to come into form don't be freaked out when you get the hair and you open the box and you're you're gonna be like what the hell is this i was really skeptical about this hair i was so skeptical that i um, when I made this unit, because this is a unit that I made, um, when I made it, I used the glue gun method. For anyone that doesn't know, that's what I do when I'm buying cheap hair or if I got some hair that I just don't think is going to last long because I'm not about to sit here and sew all this hair on a cap and it only lasts me for a good three to four weeks. So that's how skeptical I was about this hair. I'm going to start with the pros because... Everybody want to know the good stuff first. Okay, so I'm just going to tell y'all a quick story. I mean, it might be long as hell. I was making this wig. I ran out of hair. 
this is going to sound like a con for a long time until I actually get to the point. I even use, because this box, you know, I said it came with the samples. I even use the coily sample that it came with to put onto my wig because I was like, oh my God, I don't have enough hair. So what I did was I had to place my tracks really, really, really far apart. So normally when I make wigs, I probably have my tracks about this far apart from each other. This wig, they were like, not even exaggerate, and they were probably about two and a half inches apart from each other. So I made the wig, I made it work, but once I got done, I was like, okay, this is ridiculous. I'm not about to have no damn wig with all these gaps in it. So I emailed the company, I was like, hey, this isn't working. My wig got gaps in it, I need some more hair. So they were like, okay, we'll send you a half So a yeah, I washed the hair and then I detangled it with the Denman brush and it swelled. It got really, 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 really big. So I didn't even need the extra hair that I asked for. Um, it got so big, you couldn't even see the spaces in between my tracks. You couldn't see any of that. Like, this hair got so big. And when I say big, I mean outside of my shoulders. Like, I would leave the house like this in the morning, and then by the time I got where I was going, the hair would be out here. That's why I cut a lot of it. I thinned it out. I, it was too much. Anyway, I say all that to say that two bundles is more, 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 more than enough hair. You don't need more than that. I don't care what inch you get. Y'all, it's more than enough hair. Like, you don't need a lot. You don't need three bundles. Especially when you see the price. Um, it's not like super duper expensive, but when you see the price, you're gonna be like, what the hell? This much for one bundle? But it's because you only need. The thing I like bundles. about the hair is that um, the closure. It matches perfectly with the hair i bought curly hair that um the closure is not even i just was expecting the closure to be totally off but it's not it wasn't it looks great um another thing i like about the closure is that it is super wide it's like it's from here to here so yeah it's it's really wide so if i wanted to do a side part i can like i don't have to shift my unit over because obviously since my hair is so short it would be like one side is shorter than the other so if i want to do a side part i can just do that because the closure has more than enough room for me to do that without it looking weird so you can see that i colored the hair my natural hair is red it's not naturally red obviously but i dyed my natural hair um i dyed this with l'oreal high colors um in the color magenta um it's actually darker than my natural hair but that's only because i left the color on the hair for a really long time because i was watching a movie and i totally forgot that it was on there so it came out darker than it was supposed to but I know it colors well because I've seen other videos. Um, it didn't lose its curl pattern. Um, when I colored my natural hair with this same product, um, some of the some of my hair in the back lost its curl pattern, or it's just like wavy now. So I can I can literally say that this hair took the color better than my own hair did. Um, it didn't lose any curl at all. It's still it's still bouncy. It still has elasticity. Like everything is there shedding i said that like it has bad shedding but it doesn't um there is not bad shedding at all i would say that it sheds just as much as your natural hair would when you're combing and brushing it um you can't really run your fingers through it because it's like your natural hair like i can't run my fingers through it so obviously no shedding there um but yeah um when you wash it you're gonna see some shedding or when you wet it to do your wash and go like i did you might see some shedding it's just it sheds just as much as your natural hair would it's nothing excessive like there's no hair falling out on the floor or nothing like that another pro is very 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 versatile the twist outs that's the only thing i've tried besides this wash and go i did the twist out um 
the definition of the twist out was gorgeous it was beautiful the only thing i didn't like was i feel like the ends looked a little stringy looking so i didn't wear the twist out um and the texture the texture is another pro this texture is spot on to my natural hair i will insert a picture of my natural hair it's spot on like i don't know my I don't know if i'm like 4b like i don't know i just know that my natural hair is weird i have different textures in different places and the only reason i got a lace closure i did not need this lace closure well i did at the time i don't now the reason i got a lace closure was because um i had heat damage at the time like, hey, uh, I'm gonna need a closure because I don't know how to blend straight hair with natural textured hair. Like, that's not gonna work. I had heat damage right in this area, so I requested a lace closure. I wouldn't need it now, and it would probably be super easy peasy to blend my hair with this because it's like dead on. And the coily hair mimics. Let me see. Let me see. It's not on here. But I believe the coily hair is supposed to mimic like. 3C to 4 or like 3A to 4B something. I just knew that it wasn't kinky and it wasn't the curly hair. So okay, cons. I coily. I don't have a lot of cons. Um, the con that I have is not even really a con. It's just kind of like a forewarning. The only um, thing that I can say is that you have to take care of this hair just like you would take care of your natural hair so if you're one of those people that don't like to bother your natural hair you're gonna have to keep it moisturized because obviously if the hair is dry it's gonna look gross so I guess that's really the only thing I mean by that is you you're gonna have to keep it moisturized um unless you like that afro -y look I don't I like curls I like definition I never wear my real hair in an afro and I wasn't gonna wear this in an afro either so um yeah that's the only thing i could say um the, uh, the only other con that i have is that it was huge like i already told y'all i would leave the house like this and by the time i get where i'm going it would be out here and people would be looking at me like i'm crazy because i look like somebody off damn erica badu video or something like it was it was it was big and i, I love big hair I love big hair, so if I'm telling you that it's big, it was too damn big. This hair is great for uh, if you're, even if you're relaxed, you can get a lace closure and you can see, like, hey, I want to go natural, I don't know what it's going to look like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to deal with it, this hair is great for that. Or if you're already natural and you just want some extra length, some extra density, like, because it's popping, like, it's really, it's really popping, it's really nice. Uh, Y'all, I have nothing bad to say about this hair. In February, I think it'll be a year since I've had this hair. Shrinkage, just like your natural hair. It's to my boob. I love it. Everybody thought it was mine. It ain't. I wish it was. But it ain't. But it's really pretty. So, if you guys want to purchase this hair, I will leave. I have a link below where you can use my code. I think you get like 5% off. Um, so I will leave the link below of where you can purchase this hair from or if you just want to see how much it costs um, I'll leave the link below So I hope you guys like this video if you did comment like subscribe Thumbs up whatever Whatever you want to do. I don't care if we'll see you on the next video Like I said before if you want to see anything else if there's anything that you haven't been able to find on here let me know in the comments i will get those videos done for you i will see you guys next time